Chapter one, optimize your business page. So why should you optimize your business page on Facebook? Well, by optimizing your business page, not only is it gonna help you when it comes to SEO, which is search engine optimization, because whenever you input keywords onto your specific business page, onto the bio, for instance, those keywords are gonna be crawled and catch on from Google. So whenever somebody searches for real estate agents in your city and you have your business pages on Facebook, Instagram optimized and have these specific keywords, it would allow your specific page to pop up whenever there's a Google inquiry. In addition to that, whenever somebody is on the Facebook platform itself and they're searching for a specific person um, that does real estate or let's say does mortgage or the word in general real estate agent or mortgage uh, loan officer and they search that on Facebook, it's going to allow you to have more visibility. So there's these reasons plus more why your business page needs to be optimized. When optimizing your page, it is also important for your Facebook business page um, to have the services template. On the services template, it, it's going to allow you to have these specific tabs, video, reviews, events, services. As a local business, you want to have this template as it is optimized for local businesses. Uh, the great thing that it has is that it's able to show your review. So let's take you to it and show you how that looks like. So this is our Facebook business page. Uh, it is optimized as a local service business. So I, as you can see on the side, on the left-hand side, we have these tabs, right? If you want to edit this, all you have to do is select settings onto your business page. When you select settings, it's going to take you to the control panel onto your Facebook business page. On this control panel, you're able to configure a lot of things. You're able to change a lot of settings, uh, edit information, um, change roles, on, on a, meaning give specific roles to specific people, uh, connect to your Instagram business page. There's lots that you can do here. So what we want to click on is templates and tabs. On templates and tabs, we want to make sure that the current template that we have, it indicates services. If it says otherwise, let's click edit and let's look for services. Let's click view details. When we click view details after, let's click on apply. Since I had already applied this template, it's just saying current template. So once we do that, it should be, it should be as a current template services. If for whatever reason, there's any of these tabs that you don't want showing onto your business page, all you could do is select settings and click on the on button and it will turn it on. But now that I'm here, as you can see, this is your reviews tab. If I were to click on this button here, it's gonna copy this link that's gonna go directly onto your reviews tab. So this is something that is great for you to share with any past clients, via text, via email, so that you organically start growing your reviews on Facebook also. The other thing that's important to have on your business page or overall your social media strategy is to acquire reviews. You wanna leverage off of the different review sites that are available for you. So one of them is definitely Yelp, uh, Google, Facebook, obviously Zillow, Realtor.com. These are all platforms that you wanna leverage off of getting positive reviews. Um, it's as easy as asking friends, family, and past clients to help you on, on getting some reviews. Uh, and it, it helps a lot. You know, as a consumer, whenever, let's say, we go on Amazon.com and we want to purchase something, before we look at the price, we look at the reviews. You know, it's going to allow us to determine if we want to make a decision or not whenever we want to purchase something. So the same thing is whenever it is so if somebody wants to hire a loan officer or a realtor, you know, they want to look at, you know, their visibility, their credibility, their referrals, their customer service. So 
all of this plus more is what's it's going to allow you of getting reviews. And at the long term, also, uh, when you have reviews, it's going to help you when when your cost per dollar with your cost per dollar. You're not going to have to spend so much money on advertising because you're going to have referral traffic coming in as they're going to see your reviews online. Another part of optimizing your business page is trying to stand out. So take advantage of the cover uh, section onto your business page. Um, in your business page, you have a cover section that you're able to input an image or a video. So think about this as a billboard, right? So you're able to design or get a nice design of a cover image onto your business page with your name, number, DRE, uh, your slogan, tagline, um, and customize it. Or you could go the extra mile and do a minute long video, which is, would be a very better option. And you would upload it onto the cover section and you know, it would engage with people. And this would be great because whenever somebody goes onto your Facebook business page, this will be the first thing people are gonna see. So if you have a video, that's definitely gonna be the best way of doing it. 